Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Banishes, Ghost of New Eden on Steam Deck Steam OS. Okay, and I'm going to show you the gameplay like I am right now natively on the Steam Deck. And then I'm going to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. See how it performs there. And finally, I'll take you to my Steam Deck's desktop mode and I'll show you how to install the mod. If you're interested in installing the mod. Okay, so let's check out my settings right now. Options, video, display mode. It's on borderless and my screen resolution 720p. Maximum frame rate unlimited. And I've got FSR 2.2 on. FSR 2 quality is on quality, FSR 2 sharpness at 50%, motion blur off, and then graphics quality, I've set it to low. So it is the low preset, and we're getting like, like 50-ish frames right now, okay, 40-ish. So this game is running on Unreal Engine, DirectX 12, and it has built-in DLSS frame generation. So it is a really good game to be using the mod on. It meets all the criteria. Looks steady enough. Okay. So let's go fight some mobs. Find a way to meet up with Check you. out the gameplay. Over eager apprentices. I'm currently using Steam OS, the stable version, 3.5.7. It's the latest one as of recording. And I've got Cryo Utilities on, recommended settings with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Call this a fight. My settings for the Steam Deck. Let's check out our um, medium. If we go to graphics preset to medium, see how it does. Okay, so with medium, we get like 30 ish frames. Okay. So if you like the video so far, please hit the thumbs up. Give this video a like. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk a lot about. Gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. Mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. Emulation. And we also show how to install like Windows games on the Steam OS. So if that's your thing, please consider subscribing. Hey. Right. I think if we go to high settings, we get below 30. Let's test that out. High settings. It's falling off a box. Yeah, we get 20 ish. He is pretty slow. Yeah. So let's go back to low settings. I kind of like higher frame rates. The original settlers, perhaps. So with low settings, we get like 40-ish, 50. Yeah, I could beat you. Time to leave for good. I think if we use the mod, we can get like a stable 60 on low settings. But I'm not sure if we get like that ghosting effect or UI flickering, artifacts, stuff like that. What I'm worried about. Okay. So yeah, I think that's enough. Let's go and install the mod and I'll like show you the gameplay afterwards. So see you back in a bit.
Okay, so I've installed the mod. I've done all that mod files on desktop mode. I'll show you how to do that later. Right now, I just need to go here to launch options and add the command. So I could toggle the mod on. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So the mod window just popped up there. See this? Yeah, this one. So the mod is hooking up with the game. A good sign. Okay, I don't think the mod's on yet. So go to options and then video. And right here, we got a new option for DLSS. So this is not really DLSS. It's because we've got the mod on. This is actually FSR 3.0. And then also here, DLSS FG. Toggle this on. And yeah, that's it. Apply. Back. Okay, you can see the frame time's going a little bit crazy. And do we have any input lag? It's uh it's okay. Okay. So yeah, let's do that run again. I think that's an easier comparison. Okay, if we like if we spin the camera around, I think there's a little bit of ghosting. If you look at the sides of the screen. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of ghosting, but the UI is fine. There's no like UI flickering. But a little bit of ghosting. Especially when you like spin the camera around. Okay. And we're getting like 60 ish, 70 frames. It's pretty good. This is on low settings. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. So let's check out like medium settings. So video, graphics, medium. Okay, so on medium, we get like below 60, 50-ish 60 frames. But the frame time is really going crazy. It doesn't like... Doesn't feel stuttery. Not that I notice. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rock and falling down. But uh yeah, I think. I think it's good just to keep it at low. Because I think if you're installing this mod, you just want like high frame rates. So yeah, let's keep it at low. Looks steady enough. Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. This game, like the graphics, they don't really look like Unreal Engine 5. Like. I think it doesn't look like the greatest. Like for a 2024 game, I guess. And it's on Unreal Engine 5. But I heard like the story is pretty good on this game. And the gameplay wise, it's not too bad. Like the combat. Like, I haven't played a lot of it, obviously. But um, from what I've played, it's not too bad. If you're into this like style of game, like ARPG story driven you might want to give this game a go yeah i think this mod is working okay it's not too bad like the frame time is is high but um yeah it doesn't feel it and you know just a little bit of ghosting The original settlers, perhaps. 
So this game has been requested not a lot three times on my comment section of my previous videos but um for the three times it's been by the same person oh uh, yeah all right this one's for you if you're the one that made that comment okay so yeah i think that's it i'll leave it here i'll go back to my desktop mode and i'll show you how to install this it's a little bit different a little bit different um so yeah see you back in desktop mode welcome back to my steam Deck's desktop mode the first thing you need to do go to your game folder all right i've got mine right here in home games and then banishes ghost of new eden okay inside here you need to go to nwd folder and then binaries win 64 Okay, this is the, like the directory where I'm going to put my mod files. Okay, and then locate your mod files. I've got them in my downloads folder. And then look FC's mods, FSR2, FSR3. And then the latest mod version is 0 0.10.3. Okay, so I'm using the 220 because I know it uses FSR2.2 um, in the game. All right, so 220.zip, just extract it over. I already have it, so I'm going to overwrite. And then go to your commons.zip and then extract these two, winmmdll and winmmini. These two files, move them over, overwrite because I already have it. And then also go into this optional nvngx, drag the nvngx.dll over as well. Okay, and then enable signature override.reg. Put it somewhere you can like access. I put it in my downloads folder. Okay, I already have it there, so that's what you need to do. Okay, and make sure you've already run the game once. You already have a prefix folder. Okay, then open up Proton Tricks. And then I've got it here non Steam Shortcut, Banishes, Ghost of New Eden. Okay, wait for it. Don't panic. Gotta pop up anytime. I normally panic a bit. Okay, here it is. Select the wine default wine prefix. Okay. And then go here. Run reg edit. Okay. And then go here to the registry, import registry file. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. So that's why I told you to put it somewhere you can really easily access. So my downloads folder is really easy for me to access. And then I'm just going to select enable signature override.reg, that file that we extracted. Okay, then you should get this window. The keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. Just click OK, then close this, and then close out of Proton Tricks. Okay, go to your Steam. All right, and then highlight the game. Go into its properties. Okay, make sure you add this launch option. All right. Wine DOL overrides equals win mm equals n comma b and then percentage command percentage. I'll put that in the description. You don't have to type it out in case you mess up. Just copy and paste it. Okay. And then you need to run the game once with the mod on like this. Okay. So you can see if it's correctly done, you should get this mod window. This one. All right. That's done. And once the game is booted up, you can just press alternate F4. Just quit out of it. Okay. Can I do it? Okay. Alternate F4. I'll quit out of it. It's why uh, it's because we need to run the game once to get this file. It generates this file, fsr2fsr3.config.toml. Okay. Edit it. We need to edit it. And I go in here and it says fake NVIDIA GPU. Make sure this is set to true. It, by default, it's false. So set it to true. And also, we know the game uses Unreal Engine. Okay, we've got this un AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround. So also set this to true. That's the only two things you need to change. Then save it. Make sure you save it. And then, yeah, that's it. 
then you can run the game again and you go to the options and you can select DOSS and make sure you toggle on the DOSS FG, the frame generation. All right, so that's how you do it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.